this is Miss Melissa with Preschool Learning Garden. We're gonna learn about the parts of a plant and their functions, what each part does, what their special job is to help the plant grow nice and healthy. Before we get started, I'm gonna go dig up some of my daffodil flowers from my flower bed because I want you to see what is happening underneath the surface, down in the dirt. There's a very important part of the plant underneath the dirt. And I want you to see what it looks like. learn about are the roots. Can you say that with me? Roots. The roots are these down here at the bottom of the plant. The part that was underneath the dirt. There are two special jobs of the roots. The first job is to hold the plant in place. To keep it firm in the soil. Kind of like an anchor does for a boat. The anchor's job is to hold the boat in place. Well, the root's job is to anchor the plant down in the soil so that the winds and the storms won't blow it over. The second job is to soak up water and nutrients that the plant needs to grow. Not all roots are under the ground. Some actually can live above ground. And I have found some roots under the ground and at the surface that I wanted to show you. Come on, let's go see. Here is a big giant tree with really big roots that you can see. Part of it is under the ground, back down in the soil, and part of the roots are above ground, are out so that you can see them. Here's some more roots sticking out. Here's a really big giant tree with big giant roots holding this whole tree up. Let's look at, see if we can see the top of it. Whoa, it goes way up there. Wow. Big giant tree is being held up by these roots right here. Let's get a closer look. I'm going to take it out of the pot so that you can see the roots of this plant. You have to be very gentle. Helps to jiggle it a little bit. There we go. Do you notice all the roots? Here, I'll turn it around. Turn it all around so that you can see. Wow. Look at all those roots. To help us to remember where each part is located, we're gonna make some motions with our arms and our hands. So first, we learned about the roots. Put your roots at the bottom. You can also wiggle them around if you want. Now the next part that we're gonna learn about is the stem. I'm gonna show you on my daffodil. This part right here is called the stem. The stem also has two important jobs. It holds the plant up and it transports the water and nutrients up the plant. It reminds me of a straw like you drink out of. 
because a straw sucks up whatever you're drinking from the bottom up to the top so that you can drink it. Well, that's what a stem does. It carries the water and nutrients that the roots get and it carries it up to the top. The next part of the plant that we're gonna learn about are the leaves. Leaves are on the sides of the stem. So we have the roots, the stem. Now for the leaves, you can just wave and wiggle around on the sides of the stem. I'm gonna show you on both of my plants because on the daffodils, it might be a little hard to see the leaves. They look a little different, but these are the leaves. They're still shooting out from the sides of the flower. It's just a little different than this one. Let's look at the leaves on this one. So the leaves on this one are smaller, but they still shoot out from the sides of the stem. The second job of leaves is to soak up air, water, and sunlight that the plant needs, and it turns it into food. It makes food for the plant. An interesting fact is that leaves make the most food on the entire plant. Isn't that cool? So, the leaves need the air and the sun and water to help make food for the plant. The job of leaves reminds me of a sponge. So, I wanted to show you an example of a sponge soaking up water. And that can remind us of what the leaves do. All right, you ready? We're gonna soak up the water. See, it's got lots of water down there. And I have a dry sponge. All right, let's see. Do you notice how the sponge is soaking up the water? Look. All right, here we go. Whoa, did you notice all the water soaked up into the sponge? And now when I squeeze it out, it all comes back out so that you can see all the water that it soaked up. Just like the sponge soaks up the water, the leaves soak up water, air, and sunlight to help make food for the plant. The last part that we're gonna learn about are the flowers. Usually it's at the very top. So we have the roots, the stem, the leaves, and now the flower. These are the flowers at the top of the plant. Not all plants have flowers, but these do. Flowers have important jobs too. They are the part of the plant that help make new plants. The bright colors of the flowers help attract pollinators. The pollinators help make new plants and new flowers. And did you know that some flowers even have fruit on them? So if you eat a yummy fruit, you have a flower to thank for it. So let's review all the parts of the flower. These are the roots. And a fun fact is that daffodils are a bulb type plant. These round things at the bottom, that's called a bulb. They don't come from seeds, these come from bulbs. The next part is the stem. This is the stem. The stem holds the flower up and it carries nutrients up the plant. These are the leaves. They look different than the other flower, but they're still the leaves. They help make the food for the plant and they're connected to the stem. 
the last part I wanted to show you is the flower. And this one has two flowers on the top. And it's very bright and colorful in the center too. Let's take a closer look at the parts of this plant. Here is the flower. There's the stem. There's the leaves attached to the stem. See those white lines? Those are the roots. The roots are what help get the nutrients up to the rest of the plant. And they help hold the plant in the soil. This is the blooming flower on top of this plant. I can lift it up. See the stem holding it up? Connected to the roots down below the ground. And all the leaves. And there's the peony flower at the top. It's beautiful. So let's review what we've learned. We have the roots at the bottom. They soak up nutrients and water and help anchor the plant in the soil. Then we have the stem. The stem soaks up and carries the nutrients to the other parts of the plant. Then we have the leaves. The leaves soak in air, sunlight, and water to help make food for the plant. Then we have the flowers. The flowers are also attached to the stem and they help make new plants. And they have bright, beautiful colors. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you would like to learn a fun parts of the plant song, I'll have a link to my plant song below. Let's finish with a word of prayer. Get your prayer hands ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your prayer hands. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for plants and beautiful flowers. Thank you that we get to enjoy your creation. May we glorify you in all that we say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day, and let your light shine for Jesus.